athletes. This morning we're joined with Dauphin County native Ryan Whiting and his coach Glenn Thompson. Good morning guys, how are you? Good morning. Fine, Good. thank you. Thanks Good. for so much for coming in. Okay, Ryan, let's start with you. Just finished up the 2012 London Games. How was it? First Olympics experience? Uh, it was extremely tiring. That's, that's <laughs> really what I can, uh, I can sum it up as that. Uh, the village was awesome but exhausting and it's, it was a great first experience. Uh, so explain shot put for some people that may not understand exactly what it is. Uh, it's a 16 pound ball, 129 uh, millimeter diameter and you can kind of get an idea how heavy it is. You grab two gallons of milk out of your fridge and see how far you can throw them together. Very cool. And we're looking at some video here. Uh, <laughs> so it's, it's, it looks like a pretty exhausting sport. So two gallons of milk? Yep. All right. 16 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that's, that's a lot of weight. So, Glenn, you were his coach, his personal coach, while he was growing up in Dauphin County. What was it like for you to see him go on to be a world champion, go on to the Olympics? Oh, it's, it's been fabulous, and I, I think from the moment I saw him walk around the corner the first time I met him, I knew he was going to be good. Yeah. You are kind of tall. Yeah. Does that help height and girth? Help? He, it helps, <laughs> but uh, I, I would say what separates Ryan is that he's athletic, and that's the big thing. He, you know, it's not like if you can bench press 600 pounds, it's a matter of how fast you can move 16 pounds. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, you uh, coach at Shippensburg, and you also coach high school students, too. So I'm sure it's a huge achievement to see him go as far as he did. Are you still looking ahead? Are you looking at 2016? Right now I'm on a, about a month break. I went to Europe for about a month and competed after, after the Olympics. So okay. I'm pretty exhausted at this point. I'll start up uh, training for this year, and there's world championships in Russia. So I'm looking forward to that first, and then 2016 eventually down the road. All right. Well, yeah, that would be really exciting to see that. Now, you have something for your coach as well, because obviously he's been a huge help and a huge support system. What did you want to say to him this um, morning? We, at trials, we got these rings from uh, O.C. Tanner, and uh, they had an inspiration award, and I thought of him immediately when I I saw it. So uh, he got 7,000 out of the, uh, I think it was 32,000 total votes. So I have this ring from uh, O.C. Tanner, and it just says Olympic Mentor. Oh, I love I'd it. I'd like to give that to him. There well, you go. Yeah, have you put it on my finger? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a little strange. But some bling for a really fantastic coach. There you go. Well, guys, thank, thank you so you much for coming in. Well, what advice do you have for all the, the kids out there who may be thinking, you know what, I can throw two, two gallons of milk? Uh, you just got to stick to it. it. It won't give you as many concussions as football, so that's a, that's a bonus for a lot of parents out there. It's, it's a lot of fun. I get to see the world. And, and it is exciting. And you're also saying how, you know, you still went to school. You went to Arizona State. You got a degree. And you're also talking about getting your MBA. Yeah, right now I'm sponsored by Nike. And I can I have a lot of free time at, at the moment. So I have, a, I have a big dog. And I can continue my education just because um, I have the time. Right, which is great because you can't shot put forever, right? No, probably 10 more years. Okay, there you so go. Hopefully at least two more Olympics. That'd be great. And then after that, you can be a civil engineer. So you're set. You're yeah. good to go. All right. Gentlemen, thank you so much for coming in and sharing your story. We appreciate it. Thank you.